going the extra mile. Thank you, Mr. Douglas. I won't be going anywhere. Have fun on your travels. Toad sat in the yards for a long while, whilst engines big and small passed merrily by with their trains. However, when there were no trains, the station was silent, and it wasn't long before Toad began to feel a little bored. I would have thought I'd be due for my next train now. There's nothing to do. Well, good morning, Mr. Truck. You don't look very happy. I have a name, you know. Oh, sorry. What's your name? Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I've got a strange name, too. My name's Toad. Oh, wh where are you going? Hopefully far away from you. <laughs> Sorry, Toad. I need to put these trucks back in line. Good day, Mr. Thomas. What are you doing here? Not sure. Farquhar one day, Wellsworth the next. Who knows where I'll be tomorrow? I'll probably be on the mainland for all I know. Either way, there's a lot of something to do on the main line. So I'll be around for a while. See you later, Toad. Oh. And once again, Goodbye. Toad was left on his own. Hello, Toad. What's wrong? You look upset. I'm so bored, Mr. Stepney, sir. All day I've been here and there's nothing to do. Just look at all the people on the platform. They spend all their time staring at those strange square things in their hand whilst they wait for their trains. I need some sort of entertainment. Oh, you're quite right, but that's the 21st century for you. What do you suggest? I've been sitting here for a long time now, and I've been thinking, everyone likes music. What if we had music playing at all of the stations so that people can listen to it? No, little break van. On the mainland, a lot of the big stations have pianos for passengers to play while they wait for their trains. Oh, it's such a wreck. That's a brilliant idea. What if we had pianos on the platforms? That'll make everyone much happier. Well, not everyone, uh... Suggested that now, should I? Well, you can't just find musical instruments anywhere, little break van. Where are you going to find money to buy pianos for all the stations? Hmm? We'll make the money. Don't put someone else's good ideas down, Spencer. Toad, we could do some fundraising. Fundraising? <laughs> Nonsense. What are you planning to do? Run a marathon? Ah, that's yeah, exactly what we'll do. Uh, uh, what? You're serious? Oh. What if we did a non stop run right across the island? I, I, I was joking. And who's going to do this non-stop run, eh? You? You're just a little tank engine shunter. There's no way you'd have enough coal or water or courage to go across the whole island without stopping. It's over 60 miles long. Even big tender engines like you run out of water, eh, Spencer? It should be easy for you. You have a corridor tender nearly as big as I am. So you could have another just for your water like Flying Scotsman used to have. If I may intervene, may I suggest you make your own water tender for such a long journey? I'll see if I can find one for you. Thank you, Toad. I'll speak to the Fat Controller about this. I think it's a great idea. Someone has to think it's a good idea. I think it'll be quite pitiful to watch if that's what you mean. But it should be funny to watch. 